Good morning artists. Today we're going to take inspiration from the British bad boy artist Damien Hirst. Specifically, we're going to be looking at his spin paintings. Damien Hirst learned about spin art at a carnival when he was younger and then installed a spin machine in his studio. He is able to produce these works on a massive scale. So first of all, let's gather our materials that we need today. First of all, you need to draw out a skull and then use some tracing paper to copy it. Turn over the tracing paper and use a soft lead pencil to colour over the lines of your tracing on the other side. Turn it over back to the original side and now carefully trace over the lines with a sharp pencil. You should be able to do this on four different pieces of paper. So you should have four separate but identical skulls. Next, cut out the skulls carefully with scissors. You may need a craft knife to help you. If you can do this safely yourself, then go ahead. Otherwise, ask an adult to help you. Roll up some masking tape so it is sticky on all sides and stick it to the back of the skull. Then take some clean water and with a paintbrush, lightly wipe the water all over the skull. Then put it carefully into your salad spinner, pushing down to make sure it is stuck to the bottom. Think of three colours that you think will work really well together and dab them or dribble them or drip them onto your skull. Remember, the paint should be fairly thick and quite fluid or quite watery. Not too watery because you don't want it to be light and pasty. Um, it needs to have enough pigment in it but it should be fluid enough that when it spins the paint, paint will move. Then pop the lid onto your salad spinner and give it a good spin. Then open it up and have a look at your spin art. Have a look if you think you need to add any more colours. On my skull here, it looks like the yellow is not bright and bold enough, so I'd like to add a little bit more. Now's your chance to fill in those gaps with a little bit more paint if you feel your artwork needs it. Then give it one last spin. And then gently take it out. Ta-da! You've finished your beautiful spin skull art.